Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, July 28, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Exodus chapter 3, reading from verse 1 to 12. And it says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoe off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Lord of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Evites, and the Jebusites. Now, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for this portion of his word. And as we can see here clearly that this was Moses' call or invitation to be God's tool to deliver the children of Israel. As the reading state that the children of Israel, when we read prior verses and chapters, the children of Israel was in Egypt for over 400 years. And we know they entered into Egypt because of Joseph. When Joseph became prime minister of Egypt, he sent for his family and it was out of that generation that the Israelites multiplied. And so there was a lot of people there, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. After a while, there rose up a king who did not know Joseph. I think they were intimidated or terrified and feel threatened all the children of Israel was greatly multiplying and they feared that one day these people might just overthrow them and so under that fear of leadership they decided to enslave the children of Israel to keep them in bondage so that they can always keep them in check they were in slavery so the children of Israel was used to do a lot of the construction work and all those magnificent pyramid or whatever the, the, the children of Israel was used to do a lot of those right no they were abused so they were not only enslaved by the Egyptians but they were also abused and mistreated 
and for 400 years they cried and they pleaded that God would deliver them and so God kept his promise the appointed time for that deliverance has now come and Moses here is the one that has been chosen to be the voice of God to the Egyptian and to the Pharaoh and so he was out on the mountain one day and he was keeping his father-in-law's sheep and then he saw a site where the bush was on fire but it was not burned and the angel of the Lord and every time the Bible talk about the angel of the Lord it is talking about God himself so it used the angel of the Lord and if we read the text the same verses that I just read we realize that it is God that is identified here so keep that in mind whenever you hear or read the angel of the Lord it is talking about God himself not a literal angel so something to think about there all right so God spoke to Moses after his attention was grabbed by the bush and God said to him that Moses and he answered and God identified himself and said don't come any further because where you are standing is holy ground so take off your shoes so we must keep in mind and learn from that statement that wherever God is is holy ground and that is why we cannot use the temple of God to do any and anything because it is sacred ground and even our home if we invite the presence of God in our home we don't have the liberty to do as we please if we want the presence of God to remain at our homes so the bottom line is where God is is holy and unholiness cannot stay in the presence of God another for us to think about and so God was sharing with Moses you know his concerns about the situation of the children of Israel and what his plans was and how he has chosen him to be the deliverer or to go and to relay the message to the king to release the people from his grip and of course Moses he was not sure about this because remember Moses was kind of a timid person yeah he was not bold and outspoken like a lot of us right and we must understand that God can use any one of us whether we are bold whether we are outspoken or whether we barely can talk whatever because it's not about us and so Moses was a bit reluctant to go because he feel he felt like he was not equipped for such a great task but God reminded him that look here I am the one in control and I will be with you every step of the way I need you to go to Pharaoh and to give him a message and so what I want us to take from that is that same like all the children of Israel was in bondage for all those years and they cried unto God and God delivered them you may be in a situation of bondage right now I don't know what that situation is but God hears your cry and at the appointed time deliverance will come at the deliverance time God will act but not before and so you may be wondering am I gonna be delivered am I going to get the victory over this thing what is my faith as it relates to this situation what is gonna happen to me but I tell you this 
if you and I remain faithful and if we are steadfast and keep hope alive, then we will see the fulfillment of God's word in our lives and God will surely deliver. So don't give up. And even as we think about it on a larger scale outside of us, the people of God today, you would say they are in a form of bondage in this world. But God is coming soon to deliver his people out of Egypt. And so the cries are numerous. The tears are falling. People are in pain. The world seems to have hold us captive somehow in different ways. But deliverance will come. And God is going to come and set us free. But the good thing about it this time, that he's not going to send some prophet. He's not going to send some messenger. God himself will come and deliver his people. And I say, Amen. So, don't lose hope. Don't lose your faith. Hold on to Jesus. This is not the end of the race. God is going to deliver you. Whatever your situation is, just put it to him. He hears your cry. That's what he said in the reading. He heard the cries of the children of Israel in Egypt and how they were being abused and being afflicted by, Egypt, by the Egyptian. And God says, I have to deliver my people. And wanting to note, God understands how things work. God understands that in order for these people to serve me properly, I cannot allow them to remain in this situation because it's going to be difficult for them to serve me how they are to serve me if they are constantly thinking about their suffering. But interestingly to know that sometimes suffering is necessary to help us to come closer to God. So it can have a double effect all right so God said that he's gonna take his people out of Egypt and he's gonna take them to a better place in fact he said that he prepared a place for them he says they are gonna come and serve him upon the mountain which he has prepared for them and he's gonna take them to that mountain he's gonna take them to the land of Canaan he's gonna take them to a better place where they can serve him freely where they can worship him freely where they they don't have to suffer anymore you know and the journey it was a long one but God kept his promise and we will visit this story from time to time to, to unlock all that happened during the course of this journey. But what I want you to take away from the reading this morning is that God is able to deliver you from your situation and that God will deliver you. He will deliver all of us. The time of deliverance will come. So just endure it for a little while longer because God has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten me. And he that will come, will come and will not tarry. May God continue to bless us and keep us faithful even while we are still in Egypt. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.